What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Homestead Living. It's a pretty nice day here in Pleasant Valley. Uh, the last episode, we managed to kill, harvest, and cook a bunch of moose and bear meat. We got all that over here. You know, some fresh moose meat over here cooked, some bear meat that still needs to be cooked. Uh, we're in the process of looking for uh, cooking level 5. Uh, however, we did not obtain that. We are pretty close, though, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's see here. We got, uh, I think we got cooking four and a half or something. Cooking four and a half ish. Yeah, a little over four and a half, four and three quarters. Um, so we're getting to cooking level five, which is really good. Um, also looks like, uh, we're pretty close to level five carcass harvesting. Uh, we haven't done any fishing. Archery is going to be level four soon. So our stats are getting up there. Our skills are getting up there. Uh, today I wanted to think about what to do. I don't really have any major plans for today. I think I do want to try and get a deer. Uh, specifically just for the deer hide if we can find one. Um, but I'm not quite sure what else there is to do in Pleasant Valley. And, uh, I kind of have an urge to go to, uh, Broken Railroad. Now I know we just came from Mystery Lake. And I know we could go to, uh, the summit. Or at least Timberwolf Mountain, rather. However, I really have no desire to go to the summit. I know the loot up there is really good, but um, there's just so much. Look at this guy right here. We're going to try and get him. Um, and I'd really rather wait if we're going to go to the summit till we have the a moose hide satchel cured. So right now we're just trying to buy some time until that stuff is cured up. And I think that... Uh, broken Railroad... Is, I don't know, I just, I've never really been to that area before. God, this deer is very skittish today. See if I can just want to get his hide. I don't really care for the meat. Broken Railroad is just kind of like where... There's a wolf over there too, so we got to be a little careful. Broken Railroad is just like where I'm feeling that I want to go. So we might try and take a trip. We might try and get this, uh... Get this, uh deer hide and then make our way over to broken railroad today get there hang out <clears throat> and uh <clears throat> if it wasn't for that wolf we would have been just fine we're gonna try and uh see if we can line up this shot on this deer here I wish we could shoot while crouched. Ah, uh, nope. Alright, alright, alright. No luck there. Is there another one that's maybe a little closer? We got a rabbit over there, but we don't need a rabbit right now. Ah, that would have been a good time. The fence was in the way, though. We also need some, uh, we're low on firewood. So we're gonna need some firewood to, uh... To keep going, otherwise we would have had the, uh, all the meat cooked. But, uh, we're gonna need some firewood, so... That's what you get for running right at me, my guy. Come on. And look at that. And we even... We even got, uh... Level 4 archery there. Alright, what do we got here, guy? Come on. What are you doing? Yep. Yep. Man, another broken arrow. That's two broken arrows and three shots. Alright, let's grab this hide real quick. We'll go drop it off and then uh, figure out what we want to do. I don't know if we're going to head to Broken Railroad today, but that's kind of my thought. Just kind of sharing my, my thoughts with you guys. That's kind of my thought is, uh, I, for some reason, I just want to head to Broken Railroad. Um, how long would it take me to harvest this meat? I just feel bad leaving it. Yeah, no, I'm all right. I don't care about that wolf either. So let's go and drop off that, um, <clears throat> let's go and drop off that hide 
So we're just waiting for a lot of things to cure right now. Maybe we will head to the summit. It looks like the weather's getting a little bad. Maybe we will head to the summit um, instead, just because we're so much closer. All right, so we've got all our saplings. They're all cured up here. We've got the deer hide. I just dropped that off over here. We're going to move it over here, I think, just to kind of separate it away. We still got our bear hide here, our, another bear hide here, and a moose hide here. So we're waiting for all that to cure. You know, I think... So if I'm being honest, I'll share this with you guys now. Um, the whole point of this game was, or the whole point of this playthrough was to, to play until we thrive, right? And I feel like we're really getting close to that point. But I don't want to just end it on a, on a, on a dull note, right? I want to at least do something a little bit more spectacular than just, just have played, right? Um, I, I, to, to explain my, my point, right? I like survival games for the challenge. I like challenging myself. I like playing because I'm struggling. I like playing because there's a, there's a difficulty to live, right? There's a difficulty to survive. And I feel like in this playthrough, we're getting to that point where there's no longer that difficulty to survive anymore. And so my thought is, I think it's about time that we're going to wrap up this playthrough. And then my next playthrough, I want to play. I've already got some stuff started for it. I'm going to share that with you guys. I've already got some stuff started for it. But I want to play an interloper. Um, and I'll tell you, I've already got a couple episodes recorded. Uh, we're going to edit them shortly. And uh, I think we're going to put this episode or this playthrough to rest soon. And start up a new playthrough on interloper. Where we... Um, We'll have a little bit more of a challenge. Uh, I haven't really played Interloper before. And so I think that will be a lot of fun. I think it'd be more interesting for you guys to see me struggle a little bit more than just watching me go through and do things um, just for the sake of doing them. Um, so getting into vicarious situations, you know, used to get my heart pumping, but we haven't had one of those situations in a long time. And I think at this point in the game, it's going to be a while before we get to those points again, right? So... With that being said, um, I think we're going to try and get to the Timberwolf Mountain Summit shortly. And from there, maybe we'll just, uh, once we get up there, we'll just call the run good. And start up our next playthrough of um, my interloper. So that's kind of my thought. Now, I still think that means we've got a couple more episodes in here before we are completely done. But, figured I'd share the news with you and, you know, kind of what I'm thinking up next. Um, I've also got the Pal World series going on, so that's been fun. We're going to keep doing that for a little while. And uh, go from that. Right now, I'm just going out gathering, gathering some sticks because we need the wood. Um, kind of just exploring the area. Seeing if there's anything we can knock out while we're out here. Um, since we've gotten the deer hide, the bear hides, and the moose hide. We're pretty much set up for success. A shot. Oh, that's another broken arrow. They call me the Wolf Slayer. Oh, look, another bear. I'll try and give him a wide berth. I don't want to try and kill him. I don't know if we we're gonna see him. Give him the wide berth that he deserves. Let him have his space. I don't want to try and kill him just because if I kill him, then I'm gonna to want to harvest him, and and that's not what I'm in the mood for right now. We're in uh, we're in uh, exploration slash traversal slash go mode. And uh, we're just moving. We're just moving. 
I'm gonna try and kill some time until, um... That, uh... The bear hides and stuff are... Cured. The bear hides, the moose hide, and the... I guess the deer hide as well are cured up. If I'm not mistaken, there's a prepper's cache over here somewhere. There it is. Yeah, right there. So we're at the we're at the rope climb up to Timberwolf Mountain now. We're gonna head up in this prepper's cache, loot this up, and um drop off some goods before Oh god, it's so dark in here. Oh, I didn't fill up my storm lantern before we left. That's not gonna be a good thing. Hopefully there's some oil in here. Put this up. We'll drop off some goods here so we can come back and pick it up on the way out. Uh, oh, hey, look. Another storm lantern. And a hacksaw right there. Cool. Um, this way we can... Uh, 0.18 gallons. Alright. We'll leave that hacksaw. Oh, we might swap it out for a better hacksaw. Who knows. But let's do some, uh, let's do some looting in here. See if there's anything good. And then we'll do some inventory management before we climb the rope. I didn't bring my pry bar with me either. I don't care about that. I don't care about that either. Search this final drawer. More sodas. Plenty of sodas, which is good because uh, my stupid self didn't bring any food. How's this hacksaw doing? 85%? What's the hacksaw on us? 64? We're going to drop that and swap those out. Because we're going to need a hacksaw if we get to the summit. Alright, let's drop off some goods here. Um, we are not going to need, uh, two of these storm lanterns. So go ahead and leave one here. We'll just take the one with more fuel. Uh, I'm not going to need two cooking pots with me. We're just going to carry a cooking pot and a can. Um, let's, uh, let's munch on this food real quick. Let's finish up these cattails. I didn't bring any food with me, so let's try and get as much food in us as we can. I think that'll be good for now. And then let's, uh, I'm not gonna bring any of this wood with me. And we don't need this tinder. So we're gonna drop all that behind. We'll just take all this stuff here. One accelerant just in case. Um, and we don't need that book since we've already researched it. We will take that one. And we only have three wood matches. Um, but hopefully we will have more up at Timberwolf Mountain. All right, I think it's gonna about do it for this area. Let's head up to, um, let's get out of here and head to um, Timberwolf Mountain. We'll try and hit up the Mountaineer's Hut before try and hit up the Mountaineer's Hut before uh, we get a rest in. Okay, I lied. I wasn't looking at our. Um, energy, but what we are going to do is we're just going to do this. There we go. That should give us enough 
energy to get to the top now. There we go. Safe and sound. Now, obviously, we are exhausted and over-encumbered, but, uh... We'll be okay. We might, um... I don't know, start up a fire, and... Just try and sleep again. It's getting late. I would like to not sleep outdoors, but... I mean... If we find a cave, that would be ideal. But, uh, I think we might be able to make it to... ...the Mountaineer's Hut before it gets too bad. Now, the fun thing about this is gonna be the fact that I don't really know Timberwolf Mountain, and I don't know the route to summoning. So we're gonna have to figure that out... ...on our own. That's always gonna be fun. And of course, the weather hit this nice little foggy spot. So, let's get a little bit of water in us just so we're not that dehydrated. Got this foggy weather that just rolled in. And so, and here's Timberwolf Mountain. And it's still foggy here. I was kind of hoping Timberwolf Mountain might be a little bit clearer, but apparently not. Pull out the bow, just in case we hear any wolves. Oh, this hurts. I'm not gonna pick up any of those sticks, which, since we're already encumbered. But that hurts. It kinda hurts, we're not picking those up. Oh, look at this, landing gear. We'll grab these rose hips while we're here. Now, do they have any, uh... Things here? No. We will go ahead and get this birch bark and this birch sapling. I know there's a crafting bench over at um, the Mountaineer's Hut. So if we need to make another uh, arrow or two, we can do that. We have the arrow. We have the um. We have a couple feathers on us. We have an arrowhead on us. So we should be able to do that if we need it after that birch bark cures or that birch sapling cures. Oh, another birch bark. I'll gladly take that. Now I, you know, I'm regretting it now, but I did drop off the uh, insulated flask before we uh, ventured out. What is this? Is another piece of plane, huh? Before we ventured out, I did drop off the insulated flask. Oh, look at this. It's a nice little, like, uh, get out of the weather kind of deal. Start up a fire, keep out of the wind. That's kind of cool. I like how they set that up. Uh, so yeah, so we did end up, uh, leaving that behind. And now I'm kind of regretting it. I kind of wish we had, uh, we had brought it with us. Because, uh, chances are we're gonna find a bunch of coffee. And then we could have filled it up with coffee and used that to help get up some of the ropes to get to the summit. I can't really see, and I don't really know where I'm going, so I'm kind of just trying to find this. Either find the Mountaineer's Hut, I think it's right there. Okay, cool. We're good. We're good. I'm gonna say, find the Mountaineer's Hut, or maybe a cave or something. But no, we found the Mountaineer's Hut. That's good. Cool, cool, cool. Good job, guys. We did it. Let's get in here. Close this up. Let's see what we got. Flare, that's cool. It's good to have. Small Arms Handbook, there's the matches that we were hoping for, and we got another Hacksaw. At 40%, we're gonna leave that one. 
I don't care for the rifle cartridge. Oh, look, an arrow. Let's go. More matches, some flare shells. That's good. Tons of wood, which we're going to leave. Water, lantern fuel, and a chocolate bar. Ooh, a ski jacket, which we don't need. And that looks to be everything in here. I know this doesn't have a ton of loot in it, but it's a nice spot to be in. Oh, and a storm lantern right there. Cool. 0.21 gallons. Nice. All right, let's get, uh, let's top up our water and, uh, let's drop off some goods. I'm gonna drop off this to get this curing just in case we need it. We're gonna throw in, uh, these crow feathers and these arrow, that arrowhead there. All right, and we're doing pretty good. Uh, we're doing pretty good. We got a whetstone on us over here. It looks like the weather is still pretty bad out. We got the fishing hut over there. I know there's tons of cattails over on this lake too, which we're probably gonna have to go get before we uh, start making our way up to the summit. So let's uh, let's see if we can get this weather to be a little bit better. I'm just gonna sharpen this knife a little bit with this whetstone. All right. Sunset. Weather cleared up a little bit. Drop off all of these sticks before we step out. We'll gather some of the cattails on our way and uh, we're going to head to that fishing hut before we uh, call it a night. Tomorrow, we will... Oh, look, a hatchet. We'll grab that just to move it. Tomorrow, we'll start looking up uh, how to... Uh, how to get to... Um, oh, look, a bear. How to get to... Um, the summit. Because <clears throat> I don't know the route by heart. So we're going to have to go out and adventure and see if we can find a good way to get to the summit. We might down that bear just because there's the fishing hut right here. And that would allow us meat since we have no food on us. Orange soda, granola bar, fishing, another note, another knife, firearm cleaning kit. Wow, nothing good. Oh, a sewing kit is alright. Do we want to take this bear on? I might kill him just for the clearance. He shouldn't be able to get me through the fishing hut. Come on.
Oh, I don't have a bandage on me either. Uh. All right. So he's taken care of. We'll go get him in a minute. But before we do that, uh, let's uh, craft a bandage. And get rid of this blood loss. Go get our arrows. And, uh... We'll, we will get him in the morning. We'll go harvest him in the morning. Now we've got the clearance for the lake, which is going to be nice. The only thing that's on the lake now is wolves. We took a lot more condition damage than I was expecting. We're going to make a little bit of herbal tea. Um, so we get the better uh, rest to improve our condition. Let's look at our clothes while that's cooking. This is almost dead. So let's uh, repair that. We're going to make a little bit of water just so we have some water. we got an hour and 17 on that. These are also almost dead, but we're not going to be able to fix those. This is also almost broken, but we have no cloth. Let's go break down this ski jacket for some cloth. It's gonna take us an hour and a half. We'll do that after we get, uh... Alright, now that we got that done, let's, uh... Let's make sure we have plenty of fire going. Go ahead and harvest this down. And we're going to pick up, uh, oh, I can still salvage this. There we go, perfect. Uh, we'll do a little bit more water. Unfortunately, I can't do anything about the infection risk. Because, uh, I don't have any antiseptic on me or any, uh... Oh, wait, yes I can. I'm being stupid. Uh, let's craft this. I am keeping an eye on my uh, condition in case anybody is watching going, what the hell are you doing? Let's just get rid of this piece of coal. And we'll get a little bit more sticks in there. For two hours, that's going to be done soon. Uh, let's, um... Treat our infection risk, and then I want to prepare birch bark. I'm gonna eat this food. Please, no food poisoning. That'd be terrible right now. Oh, and we got an Aurora. Interesting. And now we will, um... I'm gonna drink the herbal tea. This will help us with our condition. And we're gonna drink the birch bark tea. Oh, we're not thirsty. That will also help us with our condition. So now we've got 
Improved rest, restore condition, warming up, well fed. And, uh, it is the middle of the night. Let's go for, uh... Let's go for ten hours of sleep. Uh, actually, let's go for eight hours, because we're gonna have to sleep, uh... We're gonna have to drink before we go back to bed. Alright, and look at that. Our condition is already, uh... Already, uh... Almost full. Our condition is already almost full. And, uh, we are doing pretty good again. Not thirsty. That- oh, I was hoping that water was gonna boil before the fire went out, but it didn't. That's okay. We'll, uh... Take it, and then, uh... Just drop that, uh... Right up here, so we don't, uh, confuse it with our potable water. But, I think that's gonna call it for this episode today, guys. The weather looks pretty good out. Uh, next episode, we're gonna go out, venture out, and, uh, see if we can find our way to the summit. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the episode, please consider hitting that thumbs up button. If you guys are looking forward to more of the Long Dark Homestead Living content and or other Long Dark content, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, I will see you in the next episode.